Welcome to the interested and interesting person project. Let's talk about why the word thing should be avoided in your writing at all costs. To thing or not to thing. This is the question. And the answer is... No! 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 Does any of this actually need to be said? We know not to use the word thing in our college level writing. Oh, the girl put the thing in the thingy thing. What does that mean? You can't say because I didn't. When I use the word thing in an irresponsible way, you have no idea of what I'm talking about. And let me tell you, it's frustrating. So what words replace the word thing? Well, nouns do. Nouns replace the word thing. Let's look at some nouns. You see, here's the thing. I know you know what nouns are. You use them every day. You've learned about them in school since the third grade. For Pete's sake, you know nouns. Here's a list of them. They're not all nouns. These words come from one of my favorite novels. I will let you know what that novel is in a different video. But for now, just enjoy these nouns and think of how they would indeed replace the word thing in countless ways. You, you see, my, my voiceover fails a little bit here because I can't see the noun. You can, but as I'm doing this, I'm cool and interesting technology because I am an interested and interesting person. I can't see them, so now I'm just talking to fill up space to distract you from your learning. Don't let me, don't let me distract you! Wouldn't the girl put the cookie in the dessert canister be a little bit more specific? Yes, yes, yes it would. So what should I do if I notice an errant thing cluttering up my sentence? Do, do find a noun to replace it. Perhaps, perhaps an article, adjective, and a noun. That would be very clever. Hang in there and look for my video about listing. That will really help with this situation. The Interested and Interesting Person Project is brought to you by Chris Risley. That's me.